we sometimes move over the very scripture that you highlighted, Lisa, I love. Think about the wild nature of this. It says the earth shook, yeah. the rocks right. split apart, and yeah. tombs yeah. Open no, no. the bodies of many godly men and women who had died were raised from the dead, and they walked into and town. Walked into town. I know. I did. I just yeah, we don't talk about that much. We don't talk about it much. Yeah. But I, I think what's so beautiful right. is what we can look at then, and and what we see now with the same resurrection power at work. Think mm. about the people in the city. Their response when these people who mm -hmm. were dead are now walking amongst yeah, them, right. proclaiming the goodness and the glory, this is what I see, what I experienced in my own life and what I just can't help but rejoice and see when others come to know the mercy of that cross and then the empowerment and the grace of the resurrection because pre-getting that, I was very dead. I was oh, yeah. depressed, I was anxious, I was promiscuous, yeah. I was self-harming. But when I came to know the mercy of that cross and then the indwelling, yeah. the empowerment of that resurrection, there was no missing it. There was no mistaking the yeah. change in my life. Yeah. When we really grasp that same spirit that raised him from the dead is the same spirit that was in Moses, is the same spirit right. that is in me that lives look radically transformed. And I have seen people who you would count out. They are the least, they are the lost, they are right. the addicts, they are imprisoned, who suddenly when that yeah. resurrection power transforms their heart, yeah. you get the same reaction from the people in their lives as the people in that city. Yeah. What is this? Right. And suddenly so those good. formerly <laughs> dead are walking That's in right. power and proclaiming the goodness and the glory. Yeah. And that is the gospel come alive when the resurrection yeah. power that's right. is alive. That's There's right. no missing when, when that's, that's right. impacted someone's heart because everything yeah. changes and it should leave people slack-jawed yeah. when they see the touch of <laughs> grace <laughs> on our lives. What I also love about the Lord is that even his acts are very prophetic and they echo throughout time. Yes. Because in that moment, you know, the people are experiencing the dead literally being raised up. Mm. Now in our time, we, what we are experiencing, and it's not that God doesn't raise the dead, he certainly does that till now. But just the prophetic in this moment is that now what we have been dead to in sin, we are alive in God. Right. And so yes. I love the way you put that right. because it's so true that when you encounter the power, the resurrection power, it does something in you mm -hmm. and it literally transforms mm -hmm. you. That Because yeah. even when I'm thinking about people that were dead and buried, I mean, they didn't even look the same. It's almost like I'm thinking like, how did they even appear to the people? You know, were they in a different state? Were they in a more glorious state? And that is literally what happens in our lives when we encounter that power because it just transforms everything that we know. And people should, should look at you and say, you've changed. Right, because right, now right. you're walking in a new right. life. And so that's powerful. You know, and we see resurrection in baptism. Mm -hmm. That is when we right. are buried with Christ right. and resurrected with Christ. And right. I remember never understanding the power of baptism, but it is a mm -hmm. symbolic of, hey, I've died mm -hmm. with Christ. Right. I buried with Christ. And now I'm coming out of that water yeah. resurrected. Right. Mm -hmm. And there's so many things in so many people's lives that all they need to do is have an encounter with the yeah. resurrection power yeah. of Jesus Christ. Right. You know, I, I, I mean, I'm obsessed with this scripture. I'm obsessed with this <laughs> idea <laughs> of people who were in tombs. And you know, there's people right now, you're watching this show and you are living in a tomb. Your yeah. life has just become a, a, a just an empty mm -hmm. void of resurrection power place. Mm -hmm. And I believe that by the power of the Holy Spirit, that that power of resurrection can be released into your life. And so even as we talk, I want you to think about what is that curtain that has separated yeah. you 
from yeah. God? What is that tomb where you've buried things right. that God wants you to tend and water? Right. Because we believe in the power of resurrection yes. and we celebrate what Jesus did for yeah. you, that it is, it is, it's done. Everything you need, it was done yes. on the cross. Yeah. You know, and this is what separates our faith from every other faith right. on the planet. Yeah. That's right. It's right here. Muhammad did not rise again for That's you. Right. Nobody else rose again. Nobody finished it like that. And and we can't, I love what you were saying, Lisa, about uh, seeing Jesus on the cross, but we can't leave him there. No. We have no, to can't leave live in the life that yeah. he is mm -hmm. he is resurrected and and lives for us now and is making intercession for us. Right. With the Father. Right. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. And don't forget to check out our Better Together shop. Thanks for being a part of our community.